Ben Boğuz'u Jeko. The next thing is that the man them in the field has to alert me. Guess what? Guess what? We know why we are just watching the weekend. Because we are communicating at the kitchen. Three men are going to the kitchen. And then two go left and then one man. You hear that, sir? When a man see ball and you call out loud, man, but they hear you. You hear that? You hear that? You hear that? Welcome to Jamaica Street Sports. As Samora comes up and bows to Inza, playing with his feet. That's the, that's the first delivery of scheme innings. Samoa turns, comes up and bows to Inza again, leaving that one. Inza trying to follow Coach Beachy. That's another dot. And Hyde so far feeling pleased, especially by the man sponsored by Green Glove, who sent out over 700 voice notes to make a dock. As Samora comes up and bows to Inza, and that's a wide signal by the umpire. <laughs> and that's the first score on the board. As Samora turns, comes up and bows to Inza. <laughs> Inza playing with legs. That's the third, that ball. Inza not able to swing at one so far. Brilliant piece of bowling from Samora. Proper line and length. As Samora. The resume bowling comes up and bows the Inza. Trying to get off the mark. Of course, a brilliant piece of feeling from Isla after slipping. And that's the fourth dot. As Samora comes up and bows the Inza again. It's in the air. Is it going to be taken? It's hit for six. Score moves on to seven without loss. One delivery to go in the over. It's a brilliant, it's a brilliant piece of cut shot. As Samara comes up and bows to Inza again, another wide signal by the umpire. The score moves on to eight without loss. Too wide in the over. Some more are smiling because he's not expensive as ice. And that's a brilliant knock from Inza. And that's four runs. And the score moves out to 12 with our last after over number one. And Isla to ball to Jeko. Isla. Isla comes up and bows to Jeko. And that's in the air for six. Brilliant effort from Bentley, but that one was traveling. And it's six runs for Scheme. Score moves on. 
to 18. As Isla comes up and balls to Jeko. And that's high in the air and that swing away. On May 29th, you know, I'm a Facebook page. The cake sale, which is on May 21st. I want you to take, you know, stop taking sale from him. Jennifer, from him. Hey, boy, you know, I'm on Facebook and Instagram. But if I Instagram. Two sixes and two dot balls so far from the over. And Isla comes up and bows to Jeko again. As Isla comes up and bows to Jeko, and bows to Jeko. Brilliant comeback by the bowler. This work is 24. Another reminder, we have PXA coming up on April 24th, thousand dollars. Also, we have the bingo on May 29th. You want to be able to make a street sports and ever meet up for live and delayed coverage of every detail match so far of the season. This is the work I decided between hide and scheme. We also want to be able to kick smash and bones. We want to go to RSR, Vince Man, and the top down sports club as well. We have special going on at the bar, thousand dollars. Come and check it out. And I love this one, please, press over. Skadel comes up and goes to Vince, and that's hit away for six. Score moves on to 30. And that's four runs. The score moves on to 34. As Devin continues his batting, he's on 20. As Charlie comes up and bows him. It went straight through the Rastas and for four. And that's 14 runs off the over so far. And that's the E. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Moves on to 38. We got loss. I had needing wickets. As Charlie comes up in both scenes. Uh, and it's a no ball signal by the umpire. And that's a free hit. The score moves on to 39 without loss. Still two deliveries to go in the over. 
Nice, got it, comes up and balls the inside, in the air. It's a bit slow. Fitness on the questioning. And from one, one Rasta to another as Breeze comes up and bows to. It's a wide signal by the umpire. That's the third wide of the innings. The score moves on to 41, we're into 4, but now we have 4. Scheme traveling with the required run rate. So brilliant comeback by Breeze. No! As Breeze comes up and goes to Inza, goes to Inza, goes to Inza. Not out, not out, not out. And he's given. And he's given. And he's given out by the umpire. And he does. And that's the first wicket down. And that's the first wicket down. Scheme. Inza goes for 25. He scores 1 for 1. Green to over. Green to over number 4. And As Breeze comes up and bows to Ichi, that's in the air and it goes for six. And Breeze comes up and goes to Ichi again and it's in his area. Going for another six. Comes up and goes to Jeko. Jeko, want to bat, brother? And Samora to that ball so far. Jeko trying to capitalize. Comes up and bows to Jeko. It's in the air. It should be taken by Breeze. It is taken and they take their second wicket as Jeko. And it's Samora who strikes. And Samora comes up and bows to him. There's a chance for a run out. No, 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 fear. no, 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 and after a brilliant start in the over from Samora, he released the Ooh. formula. It's now 60 for two. And that's another hit. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, man. thank you. That's 66. That's a 44, 64, Ichi. Moves on to 24. Go. 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 Go.
At the end of Samurai Spell, he's into how he And he's about to start his, his second over. Going to over number six. The mark is 65. As Isla comes up and balls the Javi. And it's a left hand bowler to a left handed batsman. As Isla comes up and bows to Javi. And he goes back to the pavilion. And that's the fifth consecutive duck ball from Isla with a run out in the over as Isla comes up and bows to Ichi. It's a wide signal by the umpire. Score moves on to 67. Brilliant piece of bowling from Isla to keep the pressure on to the batsman. As he turns and comes up in both Sichi, that up in both Sichi, that's high in the end, that's traveled massively for another six. That's his six. Score moves on to 73. For three. After over. Number six. Now we have Sweaty at the piece with the G. And one Williams to the other. It's now Bentley to bowl. Comes up and bowls to Swelly. That's a wide signal by the umpire. Score moves on to 74. For three. As Bim comes up and bows to, up and bows to, up and bows to. It's in the air, it's catch and he's gone for a duck. And it is a first ball duck. <laughs> and then the strikes. No. See now finding themselves in the middle of 74 for four. And now blocking at the crease. And that's another wide, that's as wide as it gets. The score moves on to 75. And bump the new batsman at the crease as Bim comes up and bows to him. Comes up and bows to him. And he's bowling! Another duck! And it's a first one duck as well. Because the first delivery he faced was a white. That one goes, of course. Black it. Goes for a duck. And Bentley takes another wicket. And scheming a bit of chopper now 75 to 5. Chasing 147 runs. Needing 148 to win. Ichi running out of partners. Ichi still not out on 30. And that's a brilliant piece of shot. And they found it by Mari and it goes for four. Come on, come on, come on.
And all power at the trees. As Bentley turns, comes up and moves to all power. Source number 79, Papua. After he didn't perform with the bat, he helped his team with the ball. For those who are just joining in, Hyde won the toss, deciding to bat first. Breeze, not out on 92. 12 sixes, four fours, and some singles. And then. He is now performing with the ball as well, taking the wicket up. Inza. That's a brilliant creep up by Dries. He's now bowling pace. And Dries comes up and bowls to Ichi. And that's high in the air and that traveled massively. And that goes for another six. The score moves on to 85. Ichi moves on to 42. And the score moves on to 85. For five. And Breeze comes up and bows to Ichi again. That's a bouncer for the Hobbit. The Hobbit knew nothing about that one. As Breeze comes up and bows to Ichi again. And that one struggled. It connects. The score moves on to 91. Ichi moves on to 48. With one ball to go in the over. As Breeze comes up and bows to Ichi. And it's a wide signal by the umpire and Ichi playing across the line. Score moves on to 92. As Breeze comes up and bows to Ichi. It's a wide signal by the umpire. As Breeze comes up and bows to Ichi, and that's gone, and that's his half century. A brilliant knock from the Hobbit. He moves on to 54. And another run out, another run out. I'm not going to make it this off century. He's out 54. The source will be on 99. And that's Bolim and Bim takes another hit. Six. 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 Six.
Ice Demon in a the run. It's a wide signal by the Untang that's the 100 up for scheme. And I spotting as if he's an Indian. As, as wide as he gets. We're into over number nine. As Bim comes up in both sides. And that's played for four. Nice off the mark. It's now a hundred and a hundred five. A hundred and five for seven. Lead from the front, ice. Lead from the front, ice. Round, sir, round, sir. Why again? This goes out to 106 with another wide. And another wide signal by the umpire. And that's the 12 wide of the innings. And that's lashed away by Ice for four. Scores now 111. Ice moves on to eight, trying to put a lifeline in scheme. Still needing. Another 37 months required by scheme in the final over of the match to win. And Rasta ball to ball to Diego. Yes, yes, man. Why that to the Why don't you go back to as Gadel comes up and bows to Diego again. Another dot. And Hyde composing themselves after putting all the work in their innings. As Charlie comes up and bows to Diego. Another dot. And Charlie about to bowl a maiden over. The skipper himself turns, comes up and bows to Diego, and he's bowling. And that's another duck. Quack, quack, quack. And Charlie taking a run out of the nozzle. Going to the wicket of the And the final last one is Junior. That's place for six.
Today was a do or die day for Scheme because you wanted a win to secure your spot into the semi-finals alongside Top Town, who's the only unbeaten team. Going into this match with a bit of pressure, knowing the toss is crucial. After losing the toss and Hyde deciding to bat, what was in the back of your mind? Do you think you could have restricted Hyde the way you did to Top Town in the first four overs? We did that, you know, because the first four over they were 24. Yes, they were 24, so we restricted them for, for, for the first four overs. But after that, it went down in, that's just it. And of course, Ice, your two overs were crucial to the mammoth score placed by Hyde. In fact, you didn't take any wicket and you went for 49 runs in your two overs. Do you think that's where the game was won, lost, or was it still in the balance for Skip? It, 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 as long as we, we, are, we, are, we, are, we can chase it, then it's, it's not difficult. At the end of the day, I take full responsibility because I went to, with my last over for, with ignorance because the umpires they gave us a rally in the last two overs. The, the boundary, it was not a boundary because before I stepped over, I threw the ball in, in, into, into play. The, 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 the four runs that he gave for series, the ball did not hit the back any other time. The run out, he was out, flush. So I don't understand. So that, that gets on, on top of my mind. So that, that, that's what happened. And um, so you thought some of the decisions didn't go again. Well, the decisions that went against you was crucial to the match. But earlier, prior to the match, your side seemed pumped up and ready for this game. You could only manage 117 runs. Where in the batting, the run chase, do you think you lost the game? When, when Jekyll was out. When Jekyll was out. That, 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 that was it for me, I think. Because the rest of Batman, they went with their head down. I am sorry I didn't go out a bit earlier. Because I went out and I was feeling the bat. Better luck next time, Skipper, and hope the net run rate will get you into the semi-finals. So that's the Skipper for Scheme. Still ending up on four points. You won the toss, and it seemed as if it was a team decision to bat first. Do you think it was the right decision? It's the right decision. After we have a team talk after the last game, we realized that when the score is on the board, the chasing team is under pressure to score at such rate that is already there. So... From, from plan A was to just one the task and bat first. And of course your openers gave you the start that you required even though you lost the ricket in the first over. The second over, Mari ensured the balance was back into the game, hitting 24 runs from that over. You, you seemed happy looking in the high dugout. After that, emphatic innings also from, in, from Isla. Yes, it was a, from Bree, sorry. It was a good knock all round. Even though we lost the early wicket, you realize I changed the bowling, excuse me, the batting lineup where it pays off. And I must say, that's off tomorrow to bring us back in the game with that. Inzaman go out there and he play a, a good knock also, but the, the brilliant knock of the innings though was to Breeze. Of course. And Breeze making 92, that's the highest runs ever to score in one innings. He was raining sixes. At one point, you couldn't even sit. You have to be standing and signaling six as if you were the third umpire. It was a glorious moment. Yes, We've been falling right. short whenever time we didn't get the start, but now I'm glad the batsman step up. I must say, congrats, Team Blasters. Of course, congrats, Skipper. You're making it to the semifinals. Where do you go from here? Well, we just got to go back to the drawing board, get it right. It was a good victory. If you see, we changed our bowling, do a little twitching there and there. And it pays off. So hopefully we can get it right and have it more consistently and move on to the final after the semi-final. And congrats again and good luck in your next match. So Hyde has made it clear that this wasn't the last match for them in the T10 Blast. They are the second team to be qualified to the semi-finals alongside Top Tone 